is a vulnerability is found. And I think it's important to say that vulnerabilities are sometimes found and disclosed by maintainers themselves. But often, particularly for big projects, they're found by security researchers, by research teams. A CVE is then created once that vulnerability has been found. And then we typically rely on tools like SCA tools, stands for Software Composition Analysis Tools, to help us understand how these vulnerabilities affect our application. So we have our application, an SCA tool will kind of create a list of all our dependencies, something like an SBOM, and then it will then check that SBOM against the CVE databases. So there's about five main CVE databases. You have the MITRE CVE database, you have the NVD, you have the GitHub Advisory database, and you have multiple other ones as well. But here in this model, there is a fundamental flaw. And that fundamental flaw is that in order for there to be a CVE, someone has to report the vulnerability. So you have to, either a security researcher has to find it, or the maintainer finds it, they release an update, they disclose that there's a vulnerability and a CVE is created. It's very, very important because if a CVE is not created, we have no idea in our current system that that component is vulnerable. 